Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ around the world and friends, Hindus, Buddhists, Christians, uh, Jews, uh, Jewish people, uh, welcome atheists, welcome from darkness to thick darkness. Well, because I don't have words, I want to go to the Bible and show you what I mean. What is the definition which I got is from the Bible? From darkness to thick darkness. From darkness to thick darkness. What, does I, what do I mean? This is Pope Francis, so-called Pope Francis, the leader of darkness, the leader of wickedness. And uh, I'm going to say something about him because I have a reason. Now, let's see and see. Agence France uh, Press. Agence France Press. Francis becomes first pop to endorse same sex civil union. Civil union. Pope Francis, the pop of wickedness. The Pope of evil intention. He never condemned those uh, popes, those priests who abuse children, sexually abuse thousands and thousands of children. He never punished them. He never excommunicated them. Now the truth has come and he <laughs> supported them by accepting same sex civil union. Now it is accepted. The darkness, the leader of the darkest world and the dark religion, religion, Pope Francis. Pope Francis has endorsed this one. Let's go. And listen, listen, please, listen, listen. Um. Pope Francis has made his clearest statement yet on same-sex marriage. In a documentary about the Argentine-born Pope, Francis says same-sex unions should have legal protections. NPR's Silvia Poggioli reports from Rome. The documentary is called Francesco and premiered today at the Rome Film Festival. In it, filmmaker Yevgeny Afyonetsky tackles many of the issues championed by Pope Francis, climate change, income inequality, interfaith relations, and migrant rights. But the topic that will likely spark the most controversy will be the Pope's endorsement of civil unions for gay couples. In the film, Pope Francis says homosexuals have a right to be a part of the family. They are children of God. He goes on, nobody should be thrown out or be made miserable because of it. We have to create a civil union law. I stood up for that, he adds. In fact, this is not the first time Francis has spoken in favor of civil unions for gay couples. But it's the clearest and perhaps the most empathetic. When Francis, or rather Jorge Bergoglio, was Archbishop of Buenos Aires, he opposed legislation to approve same-sex marriages, but supported some kind of legal protection for the rights of gay couples. Shortly after becoming Pope, he made his first big headlines when he was asked about gay people. Francis famously replied, Who am I to judge? That was quite a shift in tone from traditional Catholic teaching. In 2003, the Vatican's Office on Doctrine issued this statement. Respect for homosexual persons, it said, cannot lead in any way to approval of homosexual behavior or legal recognition of homosexual unions. Placing them on the same level as marriage, it added, would mean approval of deviant behavior. In other remarks in the new film likely to stir controversy among American conservatives, Pope Francis condemns the Trump administration's policy on family separation at the U.S.-Mexican border. All right, Pope Francis, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Pope Francis, this is NPR, National Public Radio, of the American, one of the biggest American uh, 
news media, a false fabricator which, you know, hates the Bible and endorses such and such evil action. So, this Pope, this Pope is the leader of darkness. He's leading the Catholic world, the Catholic world, the people into darkness. Darkness, of course, from darkness to thick darkness. What does it mean? Let me tell you what I'm saying is, I found it in the Bible and I have to explain it to you what it means. And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven and there was a thick darkness. Thick darkness. What does it mean? Thick means in the Hebrew. Uh -huh. Strong's H653. Afela. 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 Afela means thick darkness. Gluminous dark. Thick. Gluminous dark. And that's not enough. What is it? Another one. The second one is darkness. Thick darkness. What is the, dar the other one? Darkness. Darkness is Hoshe. Strong's 8, Hoshe. 28, 22. Hoshe. Hoshe. Obscure. Hoshe. Night. Darkness. So, double darkness. Afala Hoshe. Double darkness. He's leading the people into darkness. They don't have the gospel of Christ. And now they are going into this evil, you know, into thick, 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 thick darkness. Let's go and search from the Bible. How? What about homosexual? I mean, homosexuality is no different from another sin. Because the Bible says, the Bible says that, you know, homosexuals cannot inherit the kingdom of God. That's uh, one of the sins. But we have to tell to humanity, whoever sins, you don't accept a thief who, have, who is stealing. You don't accept a fornicator who is, you know, uh, going away from his wife and doing a whole lot of things. You, just as a Christian, if you are a Christian, you treat them equally. Tell them that a practice, that which is not godly, is not godly. It leads into destruction. It leads into, you know, uh, uh, annihilation with God. Because it is sin. It is sin. The sin. Let's read how God made man. Um, uh, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Lord and the Lord said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. What did God say? I will make him, I will create him a help meet for him. One. It is not 1,000 for Adam, but one, one, go down, my friend. The Bible says, and the, rib, uh, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up his flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord, the rib which the Lord God has taken from a man, made he a woman. He made what? A woman. He didn't make women. One woman. A woman. And he brought her unto the man. He did not bring them unto the man, as Muhammad and other evil men did, married four and more. No, from the creation, the Lord God made man, and then a woman, a woman, 
And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. So what? Woman. Woman. One woman. Not woman. Not woman, my friend. So the Lord God made man and, you know, he created women to help the man. Man and woman. One man, one woman. This is the design of the Lord and Jesus Christ approved this one in the New Testament. For God made man and woman and they joined together. Whosoever put them asunder is a transgressor what the Bible says. So, we teach that homosexuals cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, now, let me take you to uh, Colossian, uh, First Corinthians 6, 9. Do you not know that unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived neither fornicators, like the Prophet Muhammad, or the Muslims, nor idolaters, like those idol worshippers who worship Mary, and the Muslims who worship the black stone, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor rivalers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. They cannot inherit the kingdom of God. This is an abomination before the Lord. So these are the sins, similar sins. All are sinned, but they have to be told that it is not Accept. We don't go and bash them, we don't go and kill them, we don't go and, you know, there are churches who, who you know, have this notion and they go out, homosexuals will be thrown into hell. Well, we don't, we don't do that. Go to hell, you homosexuals. No, we don't do that. But we tell them with love and care that it is sin. What they are doing is sin and it will lead them into everlasting damnation. That's what we are supposed to tell them. That is what we are supposed to tell them. My friend, that is what Romans 1. I'm going to take you another. Even the judgment of God is real. The judgment of God. Those who hate God will be given to this wickedness. This is wickedness. Homosexuality is one of the sins of man, which is wickedness. So why why they people people go into that? Because 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 God says the Bible says, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungod ungodliness and right and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. If you are opposing the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that will inherit you. That you will be taken as a homosexual. You will be object of this wickedness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because also they knew God, they knew God, Americans knew God, the British people knew God, but they don't want him. They did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they become fools. So, 
the root where do, where does this evil come from it is from rejecting god from rejecting jesus christ from rejecting so that when they reject him god rejects them and the devil took over them and god changed and changed the glory of the incorruptible god into an image made like corruptible man and birds and four-footed for footed animals and creeping things therefore god also gave them up to uncleanness he gave them up to whom to the devil he gave them to the, the devil the devil the devil evil satan he gave them to satan in the lustus of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves what to dishonor themselves among their their bodies among themselves yes the devil installs this wickedness into their body part in their sex organ so that they burn they burn their body burns so the hatred hating god the result of hating god rejecting god sends a person into this wickedness who exchanged the truth of god for a lie and worshiped and served the creature than creator than the the creator who is blessed forever amen for this reason god gave them up to vile passions vile wicked passions evil passions for even their women exchanged the natural use of what is against the nature women sex with women they burn with burning passion yes there is a burning in their heart they call it evil uh, guilty guilty pressure guilty pressure they call it they have this the woman burned with passion against woman likewise also the men leaving the natural use of woman burned in their lusts for one another men with men committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due so this is the wickedness what is the root rejecting jesus christ rejecting god almighty and you know worshiping man like you know those uh, uh, charles darwin yes that's your god yes Al- albert einstein yes that's your god your god but they won't save you from your wickedness they won't only jesus can save you only jesus can redeem you don't give human the status of god my friend return and believe in god and repent return repent my friend even as they did not like to retain god in their knowledge god gave them over to a, a debased to the based the based mind to do things which are not fitting being filled with all unrighteousness sexual immorality wickedness covetousness maliciousness full of envy murder strife strife deceit evil mindedness they are whisperers whisperers backbiters haters of god violent proud boasters inventors of evil things disobedient to parents these are you know the, these are it and not only them not only them my friend who knowing the righteous judgment of god that those who practice such things are deserving of death not only do the same but also approve those who practice them the pope himself is included here he will be thrown into hell fire he will be damned 
Yes, those who support them, activists, they will be damned. They will be damned and thrown into hellfire. So the only way to exit from here, from the, this uh, high way of destruction, is to turn around and to accept the Lord Jesus Christ and give glory to God and live the, the life of righteousness through Jesus Christ. If you are active, uh, uh, um, engaged in actively engaged in this wickedness, repent, my brother, my sister, repent, my human fellow human, repent, return to God, repent. You have chance. It's as 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 uh, other sins. Jesus Christ can set you free. He can give you life everlasting. Thank you for watching and learning. May the Lord richly bless you. Have a wonderful night.